Oh, that was so high pitched. Ow. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be something a little bit more different rather than your warm, neutrally kind of golden eye. I thought I would mix things up a bit and start using more colour in my makeup, whether that be a bright lip or bright eye. And no, I don't have an eye infection or pink eye. Not yet. You'll you'll know by the title of why I have a pink eye. So because I wanted to inject more colour and be more experimental, I thought I would do using my eyes and the colour that I am going to be using today is pink. So last night before I went to bed I thought I can't just wing this makeup tutorial just in case like it went wrong and or I didn't like it. So I thought okay I'll just practice on the one eye which was this eye and I have used makeup remover, I have used makeup wipes and my eye is still a little bit stained. So, and that's obviously from the combination of all of the pinks I was using. Um, I've got a pink top on <laughs> and a pink scrunchie, so I'm feeling all pink. I apologise in advance if this makeup tutorial turns out rubbish. I am merely practising and trying and you can only get better the more you practise. So let's get into the tutorial. Primer, the NYX Angel Avail Skin Perfecting foundation primer all over for my eyebrows today i'm going to mix things up a bit and not use my nyx micro brow pencil because that is just my favorite ever ever eyebrow product so i thought i'd switch things up a bit and use my oh got primer still in my hand my it brow power uh thing in universal taupe I know some people like to do their base first. Oh, I've got a stray over here. I'll get that in a minute. Um, yeah, like to do their base first. Um, and then their eyeshadow, like, kind of last. But I have, I like, I have quite oily skin. So... I prefer to do my eyeshadow first, so technically my base is on for less time so it gets less oily. That's my way of thinking of it anyway. I don't know why but I've just got a random sudden urge to watch Harry Potter. Hmm. God, it does look like someone farted on my pillow. Oh. <laughs> To prep the eyes, I'm using Max Painterly Paint Pot. Now I'm using a lot of eyeshadow palettes in this tutorial. You don't have to use as many as I'm using. I'm merely using a lot because there's one colour in every palette that I'm going to use. But if you have similar colours in one palette, just use that. If you have similar colours but they're not exactly the same ones, use that. It's your imagination, it's your face. And because I don't really do bright eyeshadow looks, I'm using different colours from different palettes. I have five eyeshadow palettes. Here I have the Naked Urban Decay Cherry Palette, I have the Naked 3 Palette, I have the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer Palette, I have the Huda Beauty Ro Textured Eyeshadow Rose Gold Palette, the old version because I bought it ages ago, and the Luna Beauty Love to Drag Palette. <sighs> I'm breathing. For my transition colour, I thought I'd do something more like subtle, but kind of turned more brown and red, which I didn't get really understand. 
So I completely changed it, took it all off and changed it and did it again. So I'm using Flamingo, the bright pink in the Huda Beauty one as my transition. When I first bought this palette, I'm not going to lie, that was the only colour in this palette I didn't like. And I was like, I don't get it. Why would you use a bright pink? I hope this doesn't stain my eyelid all day because I will literally look like a pink eye. Ooh. Then in the Urban Decay Cherry palette, I'm taking this shade here called Devilish, which looks a lot redder, but it's kind of like it's like a dark plummy mauve. And I'm going to do use this in the crease. Then I'm going to blend out that harshness with the Luna Beauties Kai Kai, this bright pink here, Kai Kai. I think that's what it's pronounced, called. Now for the whole reason I wanted to do a pink eye. I've had this palette for a while, and I know you should really get rid of palettes after a certain amount of time but mm, but I have never ever ever used this colour and it's always like stood out to me and I thought I need to do something with it I need to today is your lucky day my lucky day from the Jeffree Star Beauty Killer palette the shade Star Power look how bright that is I do quite like this as well I might do a tutorial doing using this I kind of feel like it's just so. And oh, that's it, so I'm gonna. It's gonna get dark. Just. Whew. I'm gonna put Star Power on my lid and then go back in with that Urban Decay Cherry. It's called Devilish. So I'm gonna put Star Power on my lid and then go back in with the Urban Decay Cherry palette shade Devilish in the crease to like blend it out a little bit. I think I know what stained my eye. I've literally got a makeup wipe. Back in with a bit of Kai Kai. I think that's it for eyeshadow at the moment. I still have got to do under the eye and in a corner, but so, but so. I really think a nice winged eyeliner would look nice with this, but as you know, I can't do winged eyeliner, but I am willing to try. So I think I'm going to try and find a nice gel eyeliner, like you know, the pot and you do the brush, because I think I'd have more control with that. I don't know. Um, the Maybelline Falsies Bush Up Drama Mascara. Time for lashes. I'm using the Unicorn Lashes in the style Majestic AF. They look like that. Lashes are on. These are very, very dramatic. They're kind of like clustered ones, but I quite like them for this look. I'm just not happy with my eyebrows. Foundation, I've had this for a little bit, but I haven't had the actual chance to use it yet. I don't know why I haven't used it, but 
It is the Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation in the shade 10 Ivory. I'm not sure what this is going to be like on my skin. But we're just going to give it a go. I'm digging it. I don't know how it's going to sit there on my skin. That feels so nice on the skin. It feels like it's like a good enough courage. Courage? Coverage. But like quite light collection last imperfection concealer in two to just get rid of the circles then to make my eyes a bit more brighter Bernard's Radiant Creamy concealer in light one Chantilly. Breaking a little with the Huda Beauty. Well, I'm just going to push it in. I don't know if that's still baking, but... If you're wondering as well, I use the shade... Cupcake. Why put it any excess? I then set the rest of my face with the Rimmel Stay Matte. For bronzing and contouring today, the Anastasia Contour Kit in light to medium. Oh. To bronze, I'm just going to be using all three, but then to contour, I'm going to use the middle colour. For blush, Nazi's Orgasm with the powder brush, blush, brush. To highlight, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt, and I'm going to be using a mixture of the both of both Fire Crystal and Lightning Dust. For under the eye, I'm using a mixture of Kai Kai and Devilish. I didn't want just Kai Kai just to be there, because I thought that was a bit too bright. So if I kind of like tone it down a bit with Devilish. Then for the inner corner, I'm using the Naked 3 palette in the shade Dust, is it? Yeah. This is my favourite shade like and the one time we took on holiday and me and my sister were sharing a room and I brought this with me and left it on the side and I was in the bathroom and then I heard like a clunk and I was like oh it's probably nothing and I came out and uh, Alice my sister was like I am so sorry and I was like what and this just this eyeshadow 
No, no, none of the other ones, just this one broken off. But it's okay, it's fine. I don't hold no grudges, just smushed it back together. But it is so, so pretty. the slugs because the eyes are quite bold I was going to originally do a bright pink lip but I thought that would be a bit too much for me might look nice on you but for me I think it's a bit too much so then I thought dark pink the yeah, it was too much so I think I'm just going to Line my lips, fill them in, put a gloss on top. Yeah. I haven't used this gloss in a while. The Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow one. Set everything down with my five. That completely missed my face. And there you have it, a bright, bright pink eye, glossy lip, slightly pink, mm, nudie pink, just, yeah, that went a lot better than I thought it would. Um, I love these lashes, these lashes are so nice, let's see if we can get a close up, don't mind the spot. If you, I will leave everything that I have used on my face and eyes in the down bar below. Leave a comment uh, as saying what colour you want to see me do next. I have already done like a greenish one, but I kind of felt that wasn't green enough, so I kind of need to ump the green. But yeah, or leave me any comments below of. Uh, looks you want to see me create or do. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. And I'll see you later. No? I'll see you next time. Bye!